third degree, admission to first degree, and presentation of prizes. Chancellor, sir. Your Excellency, sir, the Governor of Ogo State, Dr. Dakwabiadu, Your Excellency, ma'am, <laughs> wife of our legal state governor, and all other protocols observed. On behalf of my wonderful wife and the entire members of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry Worldwide, I welcome you to all this joyous occasion of the second and third combined convocation ceremony of the Mountain Top University in the name of Jesus. I especially congratulate the graduates of today. The graduation is an important milestone. It shows the rewards of your hard work during your academic journey. I equally congratulate your parents, guidance, friends, family, and well-wishers who are physically present today and those who are watching us virtually. You must be proud to see that your labor and consistent support for these children are not in vain. One day we closed from Palm of St. John's service, and I was on my own. God bless you, Jesus. Lord. I want to appreciate the tremendous sacrifice, immense support, and unflinching commitment of the members of the Governing Council towards the success of the Mountain Top University. I congratulate the management team under the able leadership of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Elijah Adewale Ayolabi, and their commitment to the vision and mission of this university. Well done, Vice Chancellor, and your team. God bless you in Jesus' name. A well deserved appreciation goes to the members of the Senate for their academic oversight and the success of the university. All the members are sincerely appreciated for taking it upon themselves to run with this vision and mission of the university and adopting the students as your children while providing them with required guidance. I pray that God will perfect all that concerns you and yours in Jesus' name. Our proprietor of the Mountain of Fire Miracles Music is always appreciated for the unflinching support which are coordinated into the giant stands of the university which that they have experienced within this relatively short time. This is another milestone, even being witnessed by the church. And I pray that God in his infinite mercy will grant that we witness many other landmark events in the history of the university to his glory in the name of Jesus. May God continue to grant this mission the grace to keep fulfilling God's purpose here on earth. I cannot but acknowledge the support of the National University Commission from the inception of the university. They have been so, so supportive. Your guidance is invaluable and not in any way taken for granted. I also appreciated our, our host, the Ogun State Government, for your unparalleled support. God bless the governor in Jesus' name. Amen. We are still coming back to you with more support, uh, looking for more support. <laughs> Just two years ago, at the graduation ceremony at the Pioneer Set, I stated that the Mountain Top University is one of the 70-point agenda of the Youth Empowerment Program initiated at MFM to catch them young, especially the tenets and precepts of our Lord Jesus Christ. I stated that the purpose of the agenda is to engage the youth in profitable ventures, geared towards making them have the fear of God and become better leaders in this great country and the world at large. Though the global COVID-19 pandemic disrupted some of the activities of the youth empowerment agenda, efforts and materials were however channeled towards Mountain Top University made the flagship of the program. Provisions were made to ensure the smooth transition of all academic activities online. 
Looking at the sense of guidance of today, I would say the answering the call to catch them young was not only timely, but I also see it as God's agenda to send forth arrows into Nigerian and global society, and indeed the future for the liberation of many and for the deliverance of many more. To this end, I charge our guidance of today to be courageous. Though it appears you have been sent forth into the world at a very, very turbulent time in the history of the entire world. It is a time in history when the world we know has changed and the hearts of men are filled with fear of uncertainties. I want to assure you that the opportunities ahead of you are vast and enormous. This is a time in history when creativity in the face of critical realities shall be bountifully rewarded. I urge you to be creative. Today we stand at the edge of a critical period where resilience, as we've been told by our lovely governor, discipline, critical thinking, innovation, and creativity are required to solve human problems. I'm glad that we have taught you and imbibing you these skills. Do not forget what you've learned here and make sure you put them to use. Let what you have learned here be your foundation and go ahead and learn more. Learning continues throughout life as you know. Learning is no longer a concept. It is reality of the modern world. New challenges demand that we continue to learn and be creative to solve problems posed by these challenges. In one sentence, my charge to you, graduation students of Mountain Top University, is never stop learning. Learning is rigorous and demanding, yet its fruit is sweet and rewarding to those who have paid the price. I'm proud to know that you cannot graduate from the Mountain Top University without learning a vocation, whether it's farming, or it's tailoring, or it's bakery. You must learn something. It's compulsory. Every student that comes to this university must learn at least how to play a musical instrument. So, and you must learn a foreign language, meaning that wherever you are, you can never be hungry. Praise the Lord. If the push comes to the pool, you grab your guitar, you grab your instrument and start to play music. <laughs> Let me conclude this speech by telling you, graduates, what I term the Ten Commandments of the Eagle Christian Youth. And this is what I want you to take home. Commandments for Christian Eagle Youth. One, choose your companion with care. What did I say? Turn to your friend and say the same, say the same thing to your friend. Because you become what they are. Two, be, must, be master of your habits. If you don't master your habits, they will master you. Three, treasure your time. Don't just spend time. Invest it. Don't waste your time. Invest it. Four, pray for favor to find a good spouse. You did hear that? 90% of your success or failure depends on this. Five, see what you can do for others and not what they can do for you. Six, guard your thoughts. What you think is what you are. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Seven, do not be allergic to prayer and the word of God. It's our challenge when you come to Mountain Top University that if you are allergic to prayer, this is not the university for you. If you don't like the Bible, this is, you are in the wrong university. You must not be allergic to prayer. And as you go from here, do not be allergic to prayer and the word. The awesomeness of the power of prayer is yet to be explained to the modern day man. Prayer is powerful. Eight, stand for something or you will fall for anything. Nine, do not let your parents down. They brought you up. And finally, give your all to Christ. He gave his all for you. This is my tenfold uh, take home for you today. I felicitate with the parents and guidance of our dear students on this auspicious occasion. I prophesy that you will live to witness many more groundbreaking achievements of your words in good health and godly wealth in the name of Jesus. You shall continue to rejoice over your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude this address, I want to thank 
Pastor Mrs. Folashade Olukoya, my wonderful wife, whose unfailing support and passion for this university cannot be quantified. Thank you very much, ma. God bless you, ma. <laughs> to every member of uh, the Banting of Fire Miracles Mr. Worldwide, I appreciate your prayer and support. <laughs> I appreciate uh, my fellow pastors and fellow servants in the vineyard. We are all servants in the vineyard of God, whether you are overseer or regional overseer, senior regional overseer, whatever name we call ourselves, we are basically servants, houseboys in the hands of the Almighty. I just happen to be a senior houseboy in, <laughs> in the hands of the Almighty. I appreciate the members of the governing council for their wisdom and commitment to the success of MTU and for every donor who have been supporting us in cash, kinds and gifts. We appreciate all you are doing. I will enjoy you not to be weary in well-doing for the Lord Almighty will reward your labor of love. I will not forget the staff and students. Your efforts are noted with immense appreciation. Remember that the Lord is the one that will reward you and he who sits in secret shall reward you in the open. Thank you so much for the guest with us today. God bless you in Jesus' name. I want to leave you with the song I sang when I was being given the honorary doctorate award at the University of Lagos. I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. No matter what the devil may say. I shall get to my pro. Can I hear you singing it loud and clear? 